Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Behind Two Pallet fans. Hopefully you guys celebrated safely and no bad hangovers. We have a special episode for you this week. Bill and I are going to be having a friendly competition. Friendly? I'm going to kick your sorry ass. Whoa, Bill. We're just making some hot cocoa. Specifically, we are making our own versions of Cocoa Dip, one of the charms from the DVD Christmas event. That's right. The Dead by Daylight official Twitter account sent out a recipe. We've taken that recipe and we'll be, be making our own Cocoa Dips. And you, the audience, will be judging who the winner is based on presentation and taste. I remember the last contest we had where you cheated in our race to rank one. Cheated? What are you talking about? You have no proof. If you missed that episode, we'll have a link in the description and at the end of this video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on which Cocoa Dip was your favorite. There really has not been much news the past few weeks. Did you enjoy your time off, Bill? I sure did. We had a good time on your stream doing Santa Bill and giving away all those gifts. Okay, that's enough chit chat. I'm itching to kick some butt. Shall we head over to the table we have set up and get crafting our cocoa dips? I think I can win this one. I'm good at following instructions. Let's get started. You go ahead. I think I left my stove on. I need to run home and check. I'll be right back. Okay, but hurry. The clock starts now and you only get five minutes to make your cocoa dip and I'm not waiting for you. No problem. I'll be right back. Oh, and you, can you hand me the official recipe before you head out? Sure. Thanks for the recipe, and hurry back while I'm getting started. After we finish our cocoa, we'll show the audience how each of us made our cocoa. Bill and I are not allowed to watch each other, so any secret ingredients or techniques are not revealed. All right, first step here is to get this cocoa open. We got to add the unsweetened cocoa. Looks like it says, is that right? Seven tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa? Huh. That's what it says. Anyway. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Seems like a lot. Hmm. It's definitely what it says. Well, let's get to the sugar now. We got two tablespoons of sugar. There's one. And two go now we're gonna add some water pour that in here and stir it up a little bit there we go now we gotta stir this a lot more it's got a got a lot of powder to mix in here hmm, this looks like a lot well i'm just following the recipe that bill gave me get that stirred up maybe if i go heat this up a little bit it'll stir better yeah, let's get this in the microwave. Get that going here and we'll get it back out and we'll go put the milk in. Now, I accidentally lost the footage of the milk. So here is where we go. We put the milk in, we stirred it up. We're gonna go warm it back up again. So we'll get this over to the microwave. There we go. Put this in here and zoom. There we go, should be hot now. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. Let's get set back up. We still gotta do some more stuff. We got, let's see, it looks like the vanilla left. So we'll stir it. There's the half, half a teaspoon. Pour some vanilla in here. That's not quite enough. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, oops, a little bit extra. Not too bad. We'll just stir that up in there. It'll still be good. There we go. Nice and mixed up. Now, the most important part. We gotta build the snowman. So here's our one, two, three marshmallows. Instead of using toothpicks, I'm actually just gonna use the pretzel sticks. So we'll push the body on there. Then the head, get that on there. Gotta be careful not to break the pretzel stick. And then stick that one on there. There, now we'll fluff it up a little bit. And let's get some arms. We just took a pretzel stick and broke it in half his arms in there we go and another get this brighter light turned on oh there we go we can see now push it in there there we go Ugh. there got those legs in now we're gonna take these twizzler pulling deals we're gonna do something special to try to top bills so then we're gonna pull this apart here get that pulled off and then we'll just take it put it back behind his head Wrap it around a little bit here, twist it over, push it down, and it'll be just like a little scarf. 
We just gotta rip the little pieces off here so they're not too long. There's one, and there's two. Nice, looking good. No way Bill's winning this one. And we'll take some of this gel. An orange gel for the nose, and we got some black. Let me look at the picture here. Yeah, we gotta put some eyes just like this, so we'll get, get one on there. And another one, and the mouth. And two little buttons right below the scarf. Perfect. Now we're gonna do another little whip topping in for a bed in there to keep him, hopefully, floating upright. Set him in here, and perfect. Oh, oh, no, he's starting to roll over. Oh, I think he's gonna stay. I think we're good. All right. Bill is never gonna be able to beat this. I just hope the audience likes it. All right, we gotta hurry up and get in the car here. I told Rupture that I had to go back home real quick and check on the stove. I thought I left it on, but really, I'm heading to my favorite gas station that sells the best hot cocoa ever. We're gonna pop on in here, grab some hot chocolate in this cup, fill it all the way up. Not sure how many ounces the mug is that I got, but 24 ounce hot chocolate should do the trick. I'll pay for this and hop back in the old uh, Subaru here and head back over to the RPD office. Back to the set of behind two pallets. Just down the road here, take a left, and we are back to the office. Let's set this down, get this hot chocolate poured into the mug before somebody sees it. All right, uh, yep, we're just mixing this up here. Now we're gonna get these marshmallows out so we can make the snowman. We need to find the three best ones. There we go, these look pretty good. And we're gonna take one of these pretzel sticks instead of the toothpicks and put those into the marshmallows, just like that. Let's get that one on there and stick another one on here. And there we go, we got all three. Just, there we go, looking good, very, very good. All right, let's get the legs pushed in there. There, two legs. Now the arms, one, two. Starting to look like the snowman now. Let's just uh, set this down. We gotta get, get our coloring here. Let's get the nose on there, a little dab there. Looking good. Now let's get the black and we'll make the eyes. There we go, looking. Looking real good. There's no way a rupture can top this one. Get that little smirk on there. Then we're gonna put a beret on there because it's gonna be me in the hot chocolate. And I just about forgot the black buttons. Let's uh, let's get those on there. And now we're gonna add a little fancy touch just to top rupture. We're gonna make a little life preserver and throw in the tub there with him in the hot chocolate. You know, this will serve two purposes. Not only will it look like a lifesaver. It's also gonna make sure that our uh, snowman doesn't roll over into the, and drown. There we go. Take a look here, looking, looking really good. The hat's starting to fall off, but nothing we can do about that. We're just gonna pass this around to the judges so they can taste it. No way Rupture beats me. Well, that was easy. There's no way I'm not winning this one. I'm amazed that you had time for all that. I barely finished mine in time and I used the full time. Either way, it's now up to the audience to decide which is better. Each member of the audience has a buzzer with two buttons, press button A for rupture and B for bill. And don't forget that you are judging by the looks and the taste. Start voting now. You win again? How? We have some notes here from the audience. Kevin writes, Cocoa A tastes like dirt. Cocoa B tastes great. Reminds me of my favorite gas station hot cocoa. Then we have Marsha who states, I had to spit out Cocoa Dip A, yet Cocoa Dip B makes me want more. 
Even one of your own family members writes, I bet Coco de Bay was ruptured. He couldn't follow the directions on getting out of a wet paper bag, let alone make hot cocoa. Ouch, hold on just a minute. Something was off with my recipe. Didn't you hand me the recipe? Um, I don't remember. I don't think so. Maybe you didn't follow them correctly. Impossible. I'm great at following directions. Let me look at this recipe again. Hmm. Hold on for a second. This seven for unsweetened cocoa looks off. Let me look at the official tweet. Ah, see, unsweetened cocoa is supposed to be one, not seven. You changed it. I was bamboozled. Unbelievable, Bill. You did this. I did not, and I think you mean unbelievable, Bill. I still don't see how you had enough time to mix your cocoa, decorate all that after wasting half your time running home to check on your stove. Well, I did, and that's the end of this episode. Hold up. We hope you have a great New Year's, and thanks for watching. I'm your host, Bill Overbeck, and that there is a sore loser rupture. Wait, wait, what is that over there? Did you buy your hot cocoa from a gas station? Did you, you didn't even go home, did Gotta you? Gotta run. See you next week.